Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into game, you can see that they have fully remodeled the LaRaza and the LRXK. And for the weekly car, we have the Stallion M Race. And if we go to swap cars right now, you can see that they've fully updated this menu. And they've also added this Cardex, which shows you all of your car collection. And at the top, you can see how many cars you've collected. I have 246 out of 250. This being because I haven't got this new weekly yet. And it also shows the new Trident and the Trident Victory in here. So if you're wanting to flex your car collection, you can now with this menu. And I think if you ever sell a car, it gets removed from this. So make sure you always have one of every car. And here in game, you can see the new LaRaza model. Uh, it seems like they've added a few new customization spots, so I'll need to fix those. But if you didn't like the other model before, hopefully you like this one a little bit more. And same goes for the LRXK. Uh, you can see that the mirrors are new as well, so you have to paint those again if you had it before. And we also have a new stripe down the engine. They've also revamped some of the places in the map. As you can see, McDrivers got a big update. And this has definitely been needed as I don't think they've changed McDrivers since the start of the game. We also have some other little stuff like there's a car on top of Drive World Customs. And then over at the TP area, you can see that they have changed this to make it easier to tell which area you're going to. So over here is Race World. And then over here is Japan. And this place over here is Auction World. But luckily, they still kept the blimp up there. And with that, we have another week of quests, this giving us a Stallion M race. And to start off, I'll show you the five parts in the USA map. For the first part, head over to this race right here, Skyline Speedway. And right in front of this ramp, you'll see the first part. For the next part out in the forest, head over to this race right here, Forest Trail. And right up next to this tree, you'll see the part. For the next part, head over to Short Spring Rally. And right over here next to this boost pad, you'll see the part. For the next part, head over to this race right here at the top. And right over here, you'll see the part. And for the last part, head over to this trekking spot or this race right here, race circuit. And right over here, you'll see the part. And with that, let's complete the rest of these weekly quests so we can check out the Stallion M race.
And there we go, we have completed all the weekly quests, so let's check out the Stallion M race. As you can see, there's this new pop-up on the top of the screen, and if you click it, you'll be able to drive the car instantly instead of having to look through your garage. And this is what it looks like in game. It's pretty much the same as the normal Stallion M, but it has Drive World Racing Team on the side and then the number 20 on it. So if you like the Stallion M, you can go and earn this car. And here are the customizations on it. And here are the two cars side by side. You can see that there pretty much isn't anything different with these two. The back side you can see is a little bit different. And then you also have this front splitter. But other than that, I think this is basically the exact same car. And you could definitely make this race one look identical to this one over here. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update. And I'll see you in the next video.